Tight is low, take it slow, meet me down right by the bungalow. So I'm just gonna reach in here, and you can see right up here at this number, and start rolling off, but we're also gonna listen, we're not gonna just assume, it's gonna be different for every vocal, and remember, don't get too cray cray, because the more you cut into here and you roll these lows off, you might take away from the warmth and the body of the vocal, and we certainly don't wanna do that. Hey friends, this is Chris Bradley with Produce Like a Boss, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about tracking and mixing your vocals using the Slate VMS and the Slate Digital plugins. But before we jump in, if you're digging the content I'm putting out on this channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I release a new video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I track my vocals on the Slate mic, and then how I select my mic from the mic locker, and then how I process my vocals using the Slate Digital plugins. All right, without any further ado, let's jump in. So I'm using the Slate Virtual Mic System, also known as the Slate VMS. Now this is the Mac Daddy of all microphones and my absolute favorite, and here's why. It's like having 10 microphones in one because this actually emulates several other microphones itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna hop into this virtual mix rack, and this is where um, you're gonna go up here to the left, you see dynamics, EQ, you're gonna hit microphones, and then you're gonna go ahead and drag in your classic tubes. And then you can filter through and decide what microphone you wanna use, which is pretty awesome. Now, you're gonna notice you don't actually hear anything changing as I'm clicking through this, uh, these microphones. That is because I am monitoring in my interface. So I'm actually monitoring through my duet. Now you might be uh, monitoring through your interface as well. So just keep in mind, you're not actually gonna hear the microphone change. You're not gonna hear that difference until playback and that's totally fine. Now, one of the major advantages to this is that the mic shootout has been changed forever. Okay, so for those of you that don't know what a mic shootout, that just means that you're trying out and testing out different mics, which requires setting up gear and tearing down gear, you know, dealing with all of that can just be kind of a, can be kind of a process. So to have that all switched with just the touch of a button is really convenient and super awesome. So I'm going to jump in here and actually record a vocal really quick. And then during playback, you'll be able to hear the, uh, the different emulations of the different microphones. Tight is low, take it slow, meet me down right by the bungalow. Feel the beat, kiss me sweet, baby we got everything we need. Buzzing like some fireflies underneath the pink sky. Great, and now we're gonna listen to this in playback and go and switch through the different microphones in the mic locker to see what mic we wanna use for this particular vocal. So now that we have our vocal tracked, we're gonna go through and now select the microphone that we want and listen to it in playback. So I'm gonna go in here, look at the microphones, and let's have a listen. Tight is low, take it slow. Let's turn down that volume a little bit too. Tight is low, take it slow, meet me down right by the bungalow, feel the beat, kiss me sweet. And you can hear these subtle differences in between each microphone. And each microphone is, is not going to fit every singer. So for me, personally, I love the way this FG800 sounds on my vocal, and I also love the FG uh, the FG251. So let's have a listen. Tight is low, take it slow, meet me down right. It's nice and bright and crisp. I can really clearly hear what I'm doing, and it feels like it really really fits a pop vocal. Let's listen to this FG uh, 251. Tight is low, take it slow. FG 800. Tight is low, take it slow. So this is modeling the Sony C800 and this one's modeling uh, the Telefunken after it. I think I'm gonna go with the FG 800. So once I make that selection, I'm actually just gonna commit the entire track. We'll just say lead vocal and we'll delete the other one. And now that's no longer part of my processing chain and I don't have to worry about it. It's just baked into the audio and that's exactly what I want. So the first thing I'm gonna to do to begin um, editing this is I'm actually gonna take out some of the low rumble and I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna reach for the Slate Infinity EQ right here. So there's a lot of things that live in the lower frequency area that we just want to get rid of, okay? That's going to be things like a refrigerator running. It's going to be your air conditioning. It might be you bumping into your desk or even cars driving by. And a lot of times it's not even really like audible. If you were to just hear it, you wouldn't necessarily pick it up with your ears, but it's energy and it's accumulating in your mix and it's causing you mud. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of that. And that normally lives right in between about 
oh, 40 and 100 hertz. So I'm just gonna reach in here and you can see right up here at this number and start rolling off. But we're also gonna listen. We're not gonna just assume it's gonna be different for every vocal. And remember, don't get too cray cray because the more you cut into here and you roll these lows off, you might take away from the warmth and the body of the vocal. And we certainly don't wanna do that. So let's have a listen. Tight is low, take it slow. Meet me down right by the bungalow. Notice how when I cut in too much, I'm missing the, the low end of my vocal. Tight is low. It kind of sounds like a telephone. Tight is low. We don't want that. So let's roll it off until it feels good. Tight is low, take it slow. Meet me down right by the bungalow. Feel the beat, kiss me sweet. Baby, we got everything we need. Right about there feels good. Once you can hear the difference and it's cutting into the base of your vocal, you've gone too far. But otherwise, we don't need all that energy in there. And this is just going to give us more clarity in our mix. So the next thing we're going to do is add some compression to the vocal to just give us some more presence and some more clarity. So I'm going to reach in here for the uh, Slate Virtual Mix Rack. And I'm actually going to use two compressors together, which is called uh, serial compression. And there's a couple reasons we might do that. Uh, first of all, you don't have to have each compressor working as hard, which is awesome. You just have each compressor working a little bit for you. And then you get the combination of the different tones from the different compressors. So I'm going to go right up here to dynamics in this tab, and I'm going to reach for the FG2A. And then right on top of that, I'm going to reach for this FG116. And um, in between about 3 and 5 dB of gain reduction, is what we're looking to get from each one. That's going to be lighter compression. Anything more than that is going to be a little heavier. And we don't need to do that because we're using two different compressors. So let's get started. Tight is low, take it slow. Meet me down right by the bungalow. Feel the beat, kiss me sweet. Awesome. We can see we've got right around uh, 3 dB of gain reduction going on. Tight is low, take it slow. Meet me down right by the bungalow. So let's move to the second compressor here. I'm actually going to reach into their templates and go for the vocals classic because I know that I really like that setting in particular and then I'm going to adjust accordingly. Tight is low, take it slow. Meet me down right by the bungalow. Feel the beat, kiss me sweet. Baby, we got everything we need. Okay, that's feeling great. You can really hear the uh, the clarity of the vocal. You can really uh, hear it sitting right on top of the mix. So I feel pretty good about this. I'm gonna move on to the next step. So next I'm gonna do some tone shaping EQ. Before we were just getting rid of all the stuff we didn't want, but now we're gonna get in there and really shape our tone a little bit more. Um, and let's go for that infinity EQ again. And you know, I'm actually gonna duck out one more area or see if I need to duck out one more area, just where a little bit of muddiness and, and boxiness can live, which is right around, right around here. 150 to 500. Tight is low, take it slow. Meet me down right by the bungalow. Feel Once again, you don't want to get too drastic with this because you will pull away from the warmth of the vocal. So you just want to be really mindful when you're doing this that you're just trying to get rid of any mud. Tight is low, take it slow. Meet me down right by the bungalow. Feel the beat, kiss me sweet. Baby, we got everything we need. Tight is low, take it slow. Meet me down right by the bungalow. Feel the beat, kiss me sweet. Okay, that feels good. And then we're going to want to boost right in between 1 and uh, and 6K for some clarity and some presence. Tight is low, take it slow. Meet me down right by the bungalow. Feel the beat, kiss me sweet. Notice how the vocal appeared to get louder. Um, a lot of people, when they're going to, they want their vocals to pop in their mix, they immediately reach for volume or they reach for a compressor thinking they need to make it louder. When in fact, you might just need to boost the frequency where the sweet spot of the vocal is to have it really pop forward in the mix. So I'm looking for that, right? It's usually between like 1K and 6K. Tight is low, take it slow. Meet me down right by the bungalow. Feel the beat. And you don't want to get too crazy because it will make the, the vocal actually sound a little bitey so it's one thing to get like that crisp and that clarity and it's another thing to be harsh and so you really want to sometimes I'll even overdo it like I'll pull my EQ way up and I'm like oh, okay there it is and then I'll just bring it down until it feels good tight is low take it slow meet me down right by the bunk awesome next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add like a high shelf here just to get a little bit of magic that lives in this area but I'm not going to go too crazy with this because I actually have a little secret weapon I'm going to use further down in my chain which I'll tell you about in a second but right around here in between like 10 and 16 kilohertz um 
is there's just gonna be like this shimmer and magic that we're listening to grab in the vocal. Tight is low, take it slow, meet me down right by the bungalow, feel the beat, kiss me sweet, baby we got everything we need. Yeah, that feels pretty good for me. All right, so as we start to add all this processing, you know, we've got compression, we're boosting frequencies in our EQ. What happens is you're, you're actually, um, you're raising the frequency on a lot of these harsh tones too. So you're gonna get a lot of S's and sh, and so we're gonna use a de-esser that's actually the same thing as an EQ. It's just targeted at getting those particular frequencies out so that your S's and sh are, aren't super harsh. Um, so let's reach for this de-esser, also uh, made by Slate Digital. And I'm actually going to reach for the preset um, in singing called female singing smooth or I'm sorry, female singing. And then we're going to adjust from there. And once again, uh, don't get too crazy. It's a bunch of subtle movements that really help here. Um, if we were to adjust our sensitivity, uh, sensitivity or amount too much, it will cause a lisp. So let's listen until we're getting rid of the harshness, but not lisping. <laughs> Buzzing like some fireflies under and sometimes the presets just sound good. Let's have a listen. Buzzing like some fireflies. Buzzing like buzzing like some fireflies. Und buzzing like some fireflies. Underneath the pink sky. I could do this all night. All night. That feels pretty good. Let's go back over here. Kiss me sweet. Not kiss me sweet. <laughs> kiss me sweet, baby. Kiss me sweet, baby, we got it. That actually feels pretty good. Sometimes what I'll do with the S's, if they're a little too harsh, is I'll actually clip gain them instead of trying to get my, um, my DSer to work super hard, especially if it's working across the board really well on other things. Kiss me sweet. So what I might do is, here, I'll show you how I do that real quick, is I'll just grab that S. Kiss me. Let's get in there. Kiss me. It's like right in there. And get over here. I grab this gain and bring it down. Da, kiss me sweet. Da, kiss me sweet. There's the other one. So, and then grab that and just bring it down a little bit. Da, kiss me sweet. There you go, right there. So I told you I had a secret weapon lined up. A lot of times we're trying to add this clarity. We're trying to add this, uh, you know, shine to our vocals and it, and it can make it a little bit bitey and a little bit harsh, right? So one of the plugins that Slate just came out with recently that I love is called Fresh Air and it gives you all of that clarity and magic, but without the harshness, it's really cool. So let's hop in here. We'll go to Fresh Air <clears throat> and let's, let's have a listen. We'll listen from right there. Buzzing like some fireflies underneath the pink sky. So this mid air is where you're gonna get that clarity from, and then the high air is more of the sizzle crisp. Buzzing like some fireflies underneath the pink sky. I could do this all night. Buzzing like some fireflies underneath the pink sky. I could do this all night. I love this plugin. Fresh air, Mwah. yes. Okay, so that's giving me a lot of that that um, clarity and that presence, and also a little bit of that sizzle and just that high sparkle. Uh, fresh air, mm, love you guys. Okay, so the next thing I want to add is some time-based effects, which is going to give a little bit of depth and a little bit of space to the vocal. So I like to put these on sends um, for a couple different reasons. First of all, um, you can save processing power. So when you create a separate audio a track or a bus and you put your reverb on that, um, now you're saving processing power and every time you want to use that reverb, you can just send something else to it. So if you guys want to watch a video on buses and what they are and sends and how to use them, just go ahead and click the card up here below and that'll take you to that video. So let's jump in. I'm going to create a bus right here, make it a stereo track, and I'm going to go for the Slate Verb Suite Classics. And there are a ton, a ton, a ton of really awesome presets in here. Um, I'm going to go to vocals and I'm just going to go for vocal heaven. Now, one of the things um, that I love that they do right away for you is they add a little bit of pre-delay, which is awesome because it gives you a separation between the onset of those early reflections of the reverb and the dry vocal. And that's just going to give you a cleaner vocal. Keep in mind that your decay, the longer that is, the more sustain on that note you're going to have. And that can get a little messy and a little muddy, especially in upbeat tracks um, that are not slow so if you've got like a slow ballad you can get a little crazier with that DK but uh, with that decay but really not necessary to do for for most projects so just keep it keep it a keep it medium so let's have a listen I like to crank my bus first just to hear what it's doing and then dial it back 
Tight is low, take it slow Meet me down right by the bungalow Feel the beat, kiss me sweet Baby, we got everything we need Buzzing like some fireflies It doesn't need a lot, you know? So crank, dial back, um, that's feeling good for me. I like to clean up my reverbs by actually putting um, another EQ and just rolling off my highs and rolling off my lows. In fact, I'll show you right now, I actually have this Abbey Verb preset on my EQ just saved and ready to go because I do this under every reverb and that just really cleans it up. Tight is low, take it slow, meet me down right by the bungalow, feel the beat. Yeah, I like it. Tight is low, take it slow, meet me down right by the bungalow. Okay, next let's add a little bit of delay and I'm feeling like I really want like a like a slap back delay or something like that. That just feels like it would be a good vibe for this. So I'm gonna create another bus here, go here, and then this is also by Slate Digital, but it's listed under this D16 group audio software and it's called the repeater. So I'm gonna slap this on, and once again, I'm gonna reach in for these templates because they are killer, or these presets rather. And I'm gonna to go to Room Slap and go for the Modern Tape Slackback. Have a listen to this. Tight is low, take it slow. Meet me down right by the bungalow. It kind of feels like somebody's like making an announcement on a megaphone. I dig it. Tight is low, take it slow. Meet me down right by the bungalow. Feel the beat, kiss me sweet. Baby, we got. Let's listen without the time based effects and see. You can see it's gonna be, it's not gonna have as much space or as much depth. Tight is low, take it slow. Meet me down right by the bungalow. Feel the beat. But then when I turn it on. Tight is low, take it slow. Meet me down right by the bungalow. So remember, reverb creates space. The more that you add, the further away your singer is going to be. So keep that in mind. A little bit goes a long way. So let's listen to the vocal on top of the track with all of the plugins bypassed first to see what it sounded like before we added processing. And then we'll listen with all the plugins on, including the reverb and delay. So this is going to be with the dry vocal. Tight is low, take it slow. Meet me down right by the bungalow. Feel the beat, kiss me sweet. Baby, we got everything we need. Buzz. All right, now let's listen with everything on. Tight is low, take it slow. Meet me down right by the bungalow. Feel the beat, kiss me sweet. Baby, we got everything we need. Buzzing like some fireflies underneath the pink sky. I could do this all night, all night. So as you can see, the vocal is now popping. It has clarity, it has depth, and it has space. So I hope you guys will be able to use this moving forward in your productions. A lot of people ask me, what am I putting in my vocal chain? Uh, what plugins am I using? And I do not hesitate when I say that Slate is really the Mac Daddy of all things producer tools. I love their gear. I love their hardware. This mic is awesome. And I really love using their plugins as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to drop them below. Also, if you'd like to get started with a Slate Digital All Access Pass, where you're going to get access to over $5,000 worth of pro plugins and sounds, just head over to producelikeaboss.com slash Slate Digital, and I'll drop that in the description as well. Till next time, see ya!